All right, so we have started our Twitter account. We've logged in, and this is now your new Twitter homepage after you log in. This is bare right now just because right here is where all the people that you follow, their updates will come in. And so this is called your Twitter feed. This is a feed of all their updates. And we don't have anyone we're following yet, but that's something we're going to do in this video. In fact, we're going to talk about how to change your profile, how to change some notification settings, how to, again, find some people to follow, and how to start tweeting. All right, I'm going to start off with your profile. So you click on Profile. Click on Edit Your Profile. This is a very important piece to do whenever you're starting out on Twitter. You want to choose a picture that represents you. A lot of people use their face or their family. It kind of puts a more personal touch to it. This is my secondary account, so I just use the logo. Put your name, your location, website if you got one. And this part is important right down here. This is your bio. This is what people will read when they try to figure out whether or not they want to follow you back. So make sure you tell a little bit about yourself and what you're wanting to do here on Twitter. Make sure to hit save when you're done. Once you've done your profile, you want to come over here to notifications. Because when you first start Twitter, you're going to have all of these turned on. And these will send you emails for just about everything that happens on Twitter. If you're like me and you don't want a bunch of emails all the time, you want to come in here, uncheck all these boxes, and make sure you save that. That will definitely halt the fl flood of emails that come into your inbox from Twitter. All right, we're going to go back home, and we're going to find some people to follow. I'm going to go ahead and click on who to follow just so you get an idea of what kind of people are out there. Uh, lots of people from celebrities to media people to politicians. They're going to give you some ideas of who are the most popular ones. You can follow whoever you want. If you want to follow Kim Kardashian, Lady Gaga, that's totally up to you. It's your Twitter account. You do with it what you will. I'm going to follow some over here. I'm going to click on uh, this one because that's my actual Twitter account, at Steve. And what's neat is when you hit follow over here, you get some uh, suggestions of other people to follow and it shows you their bio. That's why it's important to fill it out because now I can read this guy's bio here. Tim Gwynn, friend of mine, good guy. I highly recommend you follow him. I'm going to click on follow. It'll give me even more suggestions. If you want to, you can click on the person's name and it'll give you, take you right to their account and you can read what they've been posting. Get an idea of what they're posting about and if it's someone you want to follow Kristen, yes, I follow her in my real account. Hit follow, it'll follow her. And when you come back home, now you've got a feed of all the people you've clicked follow on. I'm following three people, and so all those three people's uh, feeds have come into my Twitter homepage. Another way you can find people to follow, if you go to who to follow, you can put Ed Chat in here. And that's going to give you people that have Ed Chat in their bio. These are all good people. I follow almost all these people. And again, all you do is click follow. There's Jerry. Very good. Shelly. Great to follow. I've been very lucky to connect with these people in real life through Twitter. And now when I come back home, you can start seeing their um, updates as well. I'm following five people now. There's also a really cool wiki. I want to show that to you real quick. It's twitterforteachers.pbworks.com. And what it's got is a bunch of lists of different people on Twitter that are educators different uh, listed in different categories. So if I click on early childhood, it's going to give you some people to follow in here. And then also down in the messages as well. There's lots of different lists like that. If you come across them, if you just go to Google and put in educators on Twitter, you'll get lots of lists like that that you can use to help you find people to follow. I do suggest you start small. Um, don't follow a thousand people at once. It will be very overwhelming. Just start small and see how you do it and uh, go from there. All right, next I want to show you how to update your status and how to reply and do those types of things. It's a messaging system. So uh, right in here in what's happening in this box, this is where you're going to post, post your status updates. I'm just going to put first status update. And as you can see, it starts off at 140, and it starts to count down. If it goes over 140, it will have to shorten it so that it will fit, so it makes you be very concise in your thoughts. Click on Tweet, it will send it out there, and there it is. Whoever's following me would get that update. 
that there's one person who's following me, Bethany. Another thing you can do, like let's say you want to reply to someone and, and speak to them and connect with them directly. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to come down here to my own tweets here. Um, here's one, Web Restrictions Draw Hire of Some Educators. This is an article that I posted. Let's say I wanted to reply to that article, to that person. All you're going to do is click on Reply. And what that does is it gives them a reply like this. This is how you reply in Twitter. You use the at symbol and then their nickname. So if you have their nickname and you have the at symbol, you can send a reply. I'm just going to put, sounds good. And now that will be sent to my Twitter account, my primary account. If my other account were to reply back to me, that would be called a mention. Um, I've not gotten any mentions yet because I just started this account 10 minutes ago. Um, also, I want to show you how to retweet something. Let's say I really like this uh, resource or this tweet, and I want to share it with the people that are following me. All I'm going to do is click on this retweet button. It says retweet this to your followers. followers. Click retweet, and it will take that tweet, and it will repost it under my account so that the people that follow me will get that same message that was sent. It's an easy way to spread good, spread good resources. You'll see it a lot on Twitter. All right, so that is the basics of how to get your account set up, your profile set up, how to get some people to follow, and how to start tweeting. In the next video, we're going to talk more about how to make lists, how to talk about hashtags, chats that you can do, and different things like that. That'll be in Beyond the Basics. Thank you.